everyone and welcome to the Rose Tarakals. My name is Rose and today we'll be doing a reading for the zodiac sign of Capricorn for the month of January 2022. During this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading, it may not resonate with you 100%, okay? Now this is the case, please take a look at your moon, rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. Before we start, I would like to thank God, Source, the Universe, all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light, for guiding me to share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please like, share and subscribe to my channel, darlings. So Capricorns, let's get started. Let's see what's in store for you today. Ooh. I've shuffled your cards, meditated over them and they are now ready for a good read. <clears throat> I hope you don't mind Capricorns, but I'll be keeping my readings. I'll try to keep my readings a bit short. <laughs> okay, because they do take a bit of time to upload. Right. So let's start. Let's see. Ooh. I'll uh, shuffle the cards, clarifiers, lay them out for the first lot, and then we will read it, okay? Ooh. Interesting. Oh, good. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so, Capricorn, coming to the reading... Yeah, we can see over here that uh, uh, something from the past is coming to a completion. As you're entering the reading, I can see you're not waiting on anyone, thinking about anyone, who, because whatever uh, happened over here, as we can see in the past, yes, there were some secrets that came to light, everything was exposed, yes, and... Uh, you're not holding back anymore. You're not holding space for anyone from the past. You are moving on because you see no success in the situation of the past. So if you are in a relationship, you see no success in that relationship at all. In fact, you see that that person was working against you all along and you have decided to move on. The person may have tried to bullshit you. They may have tried to lie to you, betray you and everything else under the sun. But I can see you have cut through all that and I don't think anyone can bullshit you or uh, what you call manipulate you anymore because if they come towards you with any kind of nonsense yeah you will be cutting through their bullshit and leaving them uh, what you call shredded along the side of the road <laughs> you are on a street darling what's going on <laughs> anyways the wheels of change are here so the wheel of fortune is in your reading so I can see uh, fortune is on your side yes as soon as you cut all these people who are not serving you in your past yes and you leave them there in your past I can see you will be moving towards your success yes moving forward I can see you are clearly going to be very happy because you're not going to be entertaining any people who have been sucking your energy dry I can see clearly over here this person may have given you a shitload of anxiety and you're not willing to tolerate it anymore Okay, this person was, uh, was very immature in the communication. They tried to play mind games and manipulations with you, but obviously it did not work because you're way above the rest. Yes, you can, you're very intuitive and you can see through all the uh, whales that they were trying, all the games that they were trying to play with you. Okay, mind games and manipulations. So you let, you drop them like a, uh, I don't know what. 
ton of bricks. <laughs> you, turn, you left a ton of bricks on their head. <laughs> Ooh, somebody tried to mess with the devil. Good God. Anyways, so whoever tried to mess with you was left all shredded on the side of the street, darling. You left them where you found them. Probably that's where you found them. I came in my hand too. So, okay. So that's how your situation went in there as you come in the reading. Now let's move forward, shall we? One more card. Yes, so the person you were dealing with was very unstable, okay? This person is probably an alcoholic, is probably they drink a lot, uh, they do something, whatever they do, they do it, um, you know, too much. So may, maybe they drink a lot, they have addictions, yeah? So uh, mm, they have some kind of addiction. So maybe it's men, women, whatever. Yes, so they go into it a lot. So this person also has been very manipulative, as we can see over here. Yeah, they were using you for your money. They were using you for your clout. They were using you for whatever they can get out of you. So this, this person that you were dealing with, darling, was an opportunist. Yes, this person is still playing mind games with you. So they see, what they see when it comes to you, they see that um, they have, they they know what they've done to you because it was a calculated move, yes? They were not operating from heart space. They were operating from the mind space. They were operating from a place of greed. So probably you're in a better position than them in every way. And uh, uh, they put themselves out to be more than what they were, which was nothing, yeah? So basically you saw through it all and in spite of it all, you accepted them in your life, yeah? But this person disrespected it because they didn't understand the value of kindness, they didn't understand the value of love, and they didn't understand the value of acceptance. So this person was a user. This person uses people for their own agendas, okay? This person doesn't have any models, they do not have any integrity. The person you are dealing with, all right? Or you were dealing with, most likely, yeah? They see that you're very defensive and that they see that you're very happy. They also see that they could have had a lot of uh, uh, long-term success with you, okay? But they know they messed it up, okay? They know they messed it up and they know now that what they lost was very valuable, yeah? So they might come uh, towards you with an offer, Yes, but I don't think you're willing to accept anything of them because you're in that mode. This person has uh, people on the side. It was not one, two, three, four. It was many people on the side that they were um, messing around with. So they probably could have got somebody else in a soup, meaning to say in a, uh, they must have um, got either somebody else pregnant or they could have got an STD. Okay, because this person was around the block, darling. This person you were dealing with was right not only attention whore, but um, you know what? Yes, they were messing around with too many people. And uh, I don't think you know the whole story, but if you did know the whole story, you would uh, probably put them in a bath full of what you call it, Savlon or Dettol water. <laughs> You'd scrub them up <laughs> completely. <laughs> That's how diseased this person is. So it comes across as though they're spiritually very um, uh, unawakened or they're spiritually possessed. You never know. Anyways, there was some kind of man manipulation, not only mind manipulation, there was, they tried to uh, manipulate um, through uh, other means as well, yeah? But why would they do this? Because they had a lack mentality. They had, they were a very insecure person. So probably because we can see this massive difference in between both of you. So they have, uh, they wish they had what you have. So basically, they they are an impersonator. They also are a fraud. Okay, so they could have conned you out of your 
uh, ideas. So they were so jealous. They, they were in a relationship with you, but they were jealous of you. What kind of a person is this? Hey, they get into relationships to be jealous of the people they are with. Huh? What kind of person is this? They're always in competition with other people. So this person has a lot of problems, mental issues, traumas from childhood, you know, issues from probably past life, karma. This person has a lot of karma on their soul, yeah, because of this behavior that I can see over here. Okay, this person comes across as very shady, you know. Whenever this person enters anyone's life, it's like bad karma for the person they are with. So, I'm going to say, they carry bad karma along with them for some reason. Yes, you're being very defensive. You have, you want nothing to do with this person and you have moved on. I can see you have made every effort within you to move on and you have been successful. Now, this person, uh, as soon as, this, as you made a decision that you no longer want this person in your life, everything good started happening in your life, yes? Things started moving forward. Everything started uh, going into your favor. If you uh, were planning anything, it started going in your favor. If you were deciding to relocate, it's gone in your favor. If you were deciding to buy a house, it's gone in your favor. If you were uh, getting inheritance, it's gone in your favor. So everything started to go right as soon as this person left your life. That means you dumped their karma, back on them so you close the door yeah and they took and you told them to take all their shitty karma along with them yes and off they went which is very good and they have actually i feel as though even though they do think sometimes to come back to you because they are not coming back to you they don't want to come back to you because they love you or something no there is no love in their heart for you they want to come back because they want what you have they are also entertaining some other people on the side yes there's another person on the side over there but we can see that they are already busy with so they are always um entertaining other people in between gaps so say for example something goes wrong in a relationship or not wrong you could call an argument say for example you have an argument yeah, a disagreement in the relationship and this person always blows out. You can't have a normal conversation with this person, right? So what this person does, then they, they just immediately, without a thought, they look out for another person. Yes, they always have somebody else on the side. Why? Because this part, person could definitely be a full-blown narcissist. Yes, they cannot stay on their own. They always need to feed on somebody else's energy. This person doesn't have any ideas of their own. They don't know how to live life on their own. Yes. Say, for example, even if they have a job, yes, they always need somebody else to tell them how to do things. So this person is a, a very codependent person. They depend on other people's energy to put, propel, propel them forward, yeah? They steal people's ideas. They steal people's um, identity. So they kind of copy people. Weird. They kind of copy people, yeah, to understand... They're not very much, they, they're not in touch with their feelings. They don't know how to be in touch with their feelings. So even if they have a family, for example, yeah, they don't, they're, not, they're not aware of how to be in a family setting either. Not at all. You'll always find them. I, I feel this person is also an alcoholic. They could also be taking drugs. Yes. Mind altering drugs. Yes. They could have uh, sexual addictions. Yes, and they are quite the manipulator. They lie a lot. They have a, uh, they have a um, tendency to, to lie because if they are manipulating all the time, they have to be prepared with their lies, right? So they need to lie to justify their actions. So how they see you? They see you that you're very happy, that you're very successful, that you're very guarded. You do not want to, and defensive, you do not want to entertain anything to do with them, which is quite right. You have made up your mind to move forward. And I can see clearly, yes, there is, um, let's move forward. Let me lay the clarifiers out first in order. And then we will read the next part. I get the feeling you have new love, darling. Hmm. Let's find out. But why are we talking about some rubbish <laughs> person? <laughs> probably they're in your energy. <laughs> Ooh, probably they're spying on you. You never know. Hmm. 
let's see the outcome very nice thank you yes excellent so Yes, so as we can see over here, yes, the outcome of the situation is that uh, um, you will be moving on. You 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 are already over this heartbreak and this past situation. You're looking at it as though it's in the past and it has nothing to do with you. Moving towards your future, you have already healed from the situation. This person had put you in many third-party situations, not only one. Yes, and everything has come to light, as we can see here. So you want nothing more to do with this person anymore. Okay, it could have been a. Uh, uh, long drawn karmic cycle it could have been a long drawn um, relationship it should have ended much earlier okay but uh, due to the fact that you're an earth sign yes it could have dragged out a bit longer because you may have given too many chances which this person did not understand yes so if the person says they fell out of love with you yeah that means they were never in love with you in the first place because if you're in love with the person you make the effort to rectify the problem and find a solution to any issues that you may have so that you can be together so this it was very clear to you from the beginning this person was only using you they were only an opportunist and they once they got their needs met they decided to move away but the fact is they are coming to a realization that they now can't live without you because you were the good luck charm and not only that you were the one who provided them provided them a uh, ambition or something whatever you know a way forward in life but this person disregarded you when they were in your energy when they were with you but now you'll uh, from what we can see over here you'll have been separated and you'll uh, in two different areas okay a living space for example yes you do not want any conflict in your life you are a peaceful person you do not want this conflict in the your life and you never met anyone like them before because this was, person was full of chaos yes and you don't like chaos you like to be organized you, need, you like to live your life simple and uh, humble and uh, you know even though capricorn they might have millions and billions they'll still live the simple life yeah they don't show off right they're more concentrated on their uh, work and uh, whatever they pour their passion into and now from what we can see over here, this person may be going through uh, a time where they are short of cash or short of income, money, whatever, yeah, whatever they had planned uh, to have worked, yeah, when they walked away from you, they thought it's going to work and whatever they stole from you, yes, it's not going to work out the way they thought it would, yes, because <laughs> that's how karma works, darling. That is exactly how karma works because they uh, they mess around with you in the wrong way, you see. And you're Saturn's child, you're Saturn's favorite child. <laughs> you're ruled by Saturn. What do you think is going to happen? That's why you always that's why you always see a Capricorn. A Capricorn mostly do right. I'm not speaking for all Capricorns because this is a Capricornian trait. So I'm just saying generally speaking. Generally speaking, a Capricorn will always uh, speak the truth or tell you the way things are done like correctly yeah and if it's uh, if a capricorn is in the wrong a capricorn will apologize but if they feel something needs to be improved on your side they will tell you straightforward yeah they will not beat around the bush now over here i can see uh, your uh, clearly invested your time effort and energy into something new and this new thing is going to bear fruits i can see there is new love on the horizon as well i need to clarify one card Yes, because you have left whatever is in the past, you've left it where it belongs in the past and you're moving ahead with a clear conscience, with a clear, oh, you're taking con full control of your life, yes, and you're leaving whatever doesn't serve you in the past. Never, you, it's like you're deep freezing it, <laughs> taking it and uh, burying it in the middle of Antarctic, Arctic, yeah, wherever, and following your passions ahead 
If this was a commitment, this commitment has come to an end. You're having a brand new passion to start with somebody over here, okay? Somebody new. Oh, darling, Capricorn, juicy. Looks like Saturn has uh, started rewarding you already. So whatever you are doing is going to be successful. Yes, darling. Let's move forward. So people from the past are in the past. And new love is on the horizon. Good God, what's going on here? Oh, looks like that past is still in your energy. Okay. You have, uh, looks like you have healed beautifully, okay? You have uh, um, regained your confidence, you have regained your self-worth and self-respect. If this person tried to put you down, they were not successful at that because you're still standing strong and standing tall and people around you are noticing this because uh, you know what's a Capricorn, when the Capricorn knows they're right, they will stand their ground no matter what comes their way and they don't get... Uh, what you call swayed by glitter and this and that. They will see right through things and look at reality the way it is, yes? So you have uh, stood your ground and you have decided to move on, yes? And because you know your self-worth and you know how to maintain your self-respect, yes? And you have uh, drawn your boundaries and closed that situation of the past because you wish to have peace in your life and you do not wish to have drama and chaos, okay? There is somebody new in your life because you've been calling in your soulmate and this person is definitely could be the one. Now, there is a deception that has coming from the past and we can see over here clearly that this person in the past, if you wanted confirmation, was very deceptive towards you. So they had a lot of deceptive ways, deceptive, deceptive, deceptive. Take it how it resonates in your situation. A deception is deception, whatever it is. Okay, now you have taken down, probably some of you have gone down the path of spirituality. Yes, you have discovered your spiritual side, so you're going into a spiritual field, whether it's um, counseling, whether it's being a relationship coach, whether it's being a tarot reader, being an astrologer, uh, being a Reiki practitioner, whatever it is, yes. You are going down a spiritual path and because, why? Because you're an empath, because you're a very gentle soul. You're being also advised to treat yourself gently, okay? It's just the way the angels are treating you right now. Because I can see over here clearly you are being guarded and guided by your angels, okay? The angels have appeared in your readings. So, uh, you're achieving the right balance within yourself because you, I can see clearly you have taken the time out and you're putting your full trust in the universe and putting your full trust in God. For those of you, whoever you believe in, you have been doing your prayers regularly and you have been inviting good energy into your life, okay? Okay. And now Saturn is bl blessing you and so is the universe. All right, my darling. So whatever you put your hand to now is going to turn to gold. And whoever in the past uh, dissed you or um, downplayed you, it's because they never knew you. Okay? You never revealed yourself. That's, that's the thing about you, Capricorn. You never reveal your true self. Because if you reveal your true self, yes, everyone will be demolished along the way. So just to keep everything in balance and not to hurt people's egos, you usually, mostly, downplay all your um, traits, you know, positive traits. So you downplay yourself. So when you do something and it's so successful, for example, yeah, if you touch something, it turns to gold. People think, oh, you just got it out of the blue or you're so lucky. No, you, you're a very hardworking zodiac sign and uh, you don't show people how hard you work. You just show the outcome and that's where people get mind boggled and they just take you for granted because they think, Things come easy for you, but no, it's not true. You work really, really hard, yes, but you do not. people do not see that when they see the results. Now, you receive the overall energy as a tower, which is a very good sign because you are, uh, this is a big shift in your life wherein you are just um, leaving people behind leaving places, situations and things behind that do not serve you. Yes, you are at a higher level uh, of commitment with yourself. Yes, and you're going to go into a high level of relationship 
with a new love yes and this new love is going to be at your level so for example you're successful this person is going to be successful you own 10 businesses this person will be owning 10 businesses or more okay so it's something like this if you're um, a successful employee this person will be a successful employee as well you know it's going to be like on an equal level so the next soulmate next person you that will be coming in your life or is in your life actually <laughs> is going to be at your level and this next relationship is going to lead you to long-term commitment marriage settling down okay so oh before we go to the initials we'll see what the soul's journey card has to say the soul's journey card says judgment it says here understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so don't be too hard on yourself and don't be too hard on that person i think you're not even thinking about that person but still yes it is their problem and you don't give a damn so Archangel Michael says, spend more time outdoors, okay? But I think you are real, you are real dating, you are already seeing new people, you are uh, mingling around with your friends probably. If in the past, in the past relationship, that person isolated you or you may have felt embarrassed to take that person around because they always created drama and chaos, yes, now you are feeling free and you are able to reconnect with your family and friends and you are having a jolly good time, yes? So... Please say this prayer with me to Archangel Michael. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. All right, my darlings. So now let's see what initials could make sense to you in this reading. So we have T, J. U, C, W, R. Okay. So you know how those initials make sense to you. Now let's see what zodiac signs you could be dealing with. Looks like you're going through a big shift, or you may have been through a big shift. And looks like 2022 is looking thin. Fantastic. <laughs> the energy is fantastic. <laughs> Just place your trust in the universe because believe me, if these cards come out, the universe has your back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, the universe has your back. Leo. Pisces. Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Cancer. You could be dealing with any of these signs or any of these signs could be prominent in the person's chart. All right. So my darlings, that was your reading for January 2022. I hope this reading was um, resonated with you just a few announcements yes uh, uh please take a look at uh, www.angels.store that is my shop yes if you like to shop please shop till you drop because i have all the spiritual products on there i also have fine jewelry yes i have gold silver sorry we have gold silver and diamonds as well all right darling and this can be um customized and personalized to your liking if you send us the designs we can personalize and customize according to your liking yes so you just need to book a, a consultancy like just consultation and it's the consultation for a fine jewelry section Co clientele is free absolutely free now um we also have uh, gift cards angel wings yes so you can gift an angel wings gift card to anyone you love if so that they can buy any product of their choice okay we have a beautiful skincare range okay but we have got uh fantastic reviews for our skincare range which is um uh, expected but <laughs> 
because it was tried and tested and it's, um, it's amazing the products results are amazing okay so to try to uh, take a look at a skincare range here is just a few but it is the best and uh, also um, we I will be launching Bubbles Rose Sanctuary. I actually wanted to name it Bubbles Sanctuary, but now you know me and Rose. So Bubbles Rose Sanctuary is going to be hopefully uh, inaugurated by the end of this year. I'll try much earlier, but we have received, we have um, acquired the land, but we need donations for the building of the shelter for the animals. Yes, uh, I need my animals and a big, fat, happy family. So when I die, if I die, I die in between my animals, <laughs> the rescue animals, darlings. Yeah, because I've been doing the social work for quite a while now, out of my own pocket. If you didn't know, I'm a social worker as well. So for the animals, so and people, but mostly for animals, yes, they have my priority. So uh, now I'm achieving, I'm moving forward on the path wherein I am going to finally open the sanctuary for the abused and the abandoned animals, okay? So I will be the one who will be rescuing them. So uh, please, uh, for now, Please, if you want to donate, you can use the donation link in the description box below on the website. I will be making an exclusive donation button. So if you wish to, you can go there on angels.store and donate on there as well. Okay. So my darlings, that's all I have to say for now. Until we meet again the next time. I hope this res resonated with you and my first time viewers and returning viewers. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. And so my returning subscribers, my darlings, I love you. And thank you for staying with me on the journey with the Rose Tarical. It's been absolutely beautiful and we hope to carry on for a long time further. Yes. Until we meet again the next time, my darling Capricorns, I love you, take care and God bless.